scale box switches. There are a totally new switch design introduced at around mid to late 2017, different from any other Cherry clone that has been flooding the market these days. Manufactured by Kaihua under the brand name Kale, they have been considered as one of the biggest innovations in switch design in recent years. Not only they were totally new, but they are great switches themselves with a low price tag, which is why they have been slaying the market lately. Their linear switches are very smooth with low wobble, their clicky switches are very crisp, and their tactiles, albeit being the weakest link of the Kale Box family, were still praised for their sharp tactility and higher actuation point compared to any other chair clone in the market. There is a wide variety of box switches now in the market with many, many different stem colors. Different from the usual red, black, and brown, there are colors such as pale blue, jade, navy, burnt orange, dark yellow, and more. Most of them are differentiated by spring weights, but they're unfortunately in a very confusing order for newcomers to the hobby. Today, I'm here to provide you with a complete guide of box switch spring weights. If you're wondering about the Novel Keys product page with all the spring weights listed, unfortunately, many of them are incorrect, which is why I'm making this video from the first place. This isn't an issue just with Novel Keys, but is a very common issue with many switch manufacturers. This video isn't meant to expose Novel Keys by any means. This is just an informational video for those who are planning on purchasing box switches to make the optimal decision. Keep in mind that I will only be focusing on the bottom out weights of the springs for a more clear cut direct comparison. There are several different subfamilies in the box switch lineup. There is a the common box switch subfamily, box heavy subfamily, box thick click subfamily, Harco subfamily, and some individual exceptions such as a box royal. Let's start off with the first subfamily with the four most common varieties Box Red, Box Black, Box Brown, and Box White. Box Red is a usual light linear with a 50 gram bottom out spring. No exception for the brown, at a 50 gram spring. Box White is a light clicky switch also with a 50 gram spring. The Box Black is a mid weight linear with a 70 gram spring. So far, not so different from their cherry counterparts. Let's move on to the Box Heavy subfamily. This is where things get confusing. The box dark yellow is a heavy linear with the 80 gram bottom out spring. However, the box burnt orange and the box pale blue both come with a mid weight 65 gram bottom out spring. Keep in mind that there are no tactile and clicky options with the 80 gram bottom out spring. Moving on to the box thick click subfamily. The box jades were advertised to have 50 gram springs and the box navies were advertised to have 65 gram springs. Jades do come with 50 gram bottom out springs, however, box navies were measured to have 80 gram springs, same as the box dark yellow springs. This seems like a mistake from the manufacturer's part, and my from Novel Keys confirmed that there will be no changes to the spring weights from future batches. If you feel like box jades are too sticky but box navies too heavy, keep in mind that it is possible to swap 65 gram springs in them to make a mid weight option, so make sure to give them a try. Moving on to the Harker Sub family. These are different from others as they have a non-linear spring. The force required to press the springs increase more as they are pressed, preventing the user from bottoming out. Hakka Clears have an 80 gram bottom out spring, while Hakka Trues have a 95 gram bottom out spring. However, the Hakka Trues have a lower actuation force than Hakka Clears due to the more extreme force increase by the end of the travel. In a nutshell, Hakka True springs are lighter than Hakka Clear springs in the beginning, while finishing more heavy. The Hakka Violets use standard 50 gram springs without the progressive properties. The Royal Hakkos have the same weighting as the standard Hakka counterparts, where the Royal Hakka Clears use the 80 gram bottom out progressive spring, while the Royal Hakka Trues use the 95 gram bottom out progressive spring. Moving on to the Box Royal, Box Royals have a unique spring weighting compared to any other switch, having a 60 gram bottom out spring. This is identical to the 67 gram Zelio springs which also bottom out the 60 grams. Yes, the Zeal springs also have the issue of having different bottom out weights than advertised. The Novellias were advertised to have 90 gram springs, but since box royals were also advertised to have 75 gram springs, real life measurements will be needed to confirm the spring weighting of the Novellias. At this point in time, the Novellias group by isn't finished yet, so only time will tell. As a summary, this is a tree of the spring weights of all the box switches. At 50 gram springs, there are box reds, box browns, box whites, box jades, and hacker violets. 
At 60 gram springs, there stands a lonely box royal. At 65 gram springs, there are box burnt orange and box pale blue. At 70 gram springs, there are box blacks. At 80 gram springs, there are box dark yellow and box navies. At the moment, the spring weight of Novellias is unconfirmed. Moving on to progressive springs. For 80 grams, there are Hugger Clears and Royal Hugger Clear. And for 95 gram progressive springs, there are Hugger Truce and Royal Hugger Truce. I hope you all found this informative. A bottom out weight comparison will be a sure way to know what weight springs you will need to make your switch heavier or lighter than it currently is. Hopefully, you will all find the perfect weighting for your favorite box switch. Well, see you all again in the next video. Ciao, ciao.